Hey guys, Party Size Mike here, just doing a little basic tutorial over advanced generators on 1.12. Main reason I'm doing this tutorial is because a lot of the other tutorials I was looking at are based on 1.10 and 1.7. Um, they don't go over the, like the. There's a lot more more mechanics to the game with it, and it adds a couple new items as well. Now the website's a little vague as well, so that's most another reason why I did. A tutorial video as well now these are the basic components of what you're going to need to start off the mod not a lot you type in NEI the advanced generators you actually just type advanced G this is pretty much what you're going to see for the mod there's not a lot to it but it's a multi-block mod so you can build it any way you want and there's a lot of upgrades to it like I said basic components iron frame power module iron tubing pressure valve Control circuit, redstone iron wiring, and iron tubing blade. Now, this is tur turbine. <laughs> All right. Now, a syngas. Now, what syngas is, is it's a little gas that is used to power up this guy right over here. It's a gas turbine controller. Now, I already have them all set up, but this is because I'm really bad at explaining things as I build things. So, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys as I go on what you're going to need. So for the syngas requirements, you're gonna need a syngas producer controller. So what that's gonna allow you to do, let's see here, turn off the cheat mode for us real quick. Here, where'd you go, syngas? Here, let's do this, advanced gen, there we go. And syngas controller here, oh, producer anyway. It's gonna use the same basic components I just showed you in the chest. Super easy, the main ingredients in the items you're gonna need for this mod is a buttload of iron, a lot of redstone, and nether quartz. Not really too much of the nether quartz, or just for the more advanced pieces, but those are the main components you're gonna need to get started in this mod. Now for the gas turbine requirements, these are the items you're gonna need. Now this is just for if you're using uh, IC2, uh, like low voltage, uh, this stuff like here, the extreme and saying all that, but you're gonna be using Redstone Flux, you're just going to be using this guy right here. Where'd it go? I know I had a generator in here. Here, here let's do this. Flux generator. This guy right here. Now, like I said, basic components, redstone reciprocation coil, all going to be super easy to make with just iron and redstone. Now, that's just if you're going to be using any other uh, source besides IC2. Um, it does push out, I think it's 100 RF per tick, something like that. Um, but yeah, these are your main components. Gas turbine. Uh, these are for if you want pushing power out. You're going to need turbines. They are a very essential component. And honestly, in the video, I'm only going to be showing using one. But I suggest at least... 10 or more to really push it now advanced generators you can start at early game is if you got a lot of iron at redstone um it's gonna be pretty much basic setup like this but mid game late game these things are huge they're not gonna be tiny guys like this uh steam turbine requirements these are gonna be the items you're gonna need for the steam turbine now it's Pretty, pretty much just straightforward. All this is just building. Not heat exchanger items yet. I had them in my inventory. So that's what you're going to need for the heat exchanger. Also, the mod was just released. I think October 3rd was the update for it. Where they allowed us to use mechanism mods. Not mecha mechanism, mechanical pipes anyway. For the mod. Now, what you're going to need to do. Is like I said, it's multi-block, so you can completely configure these any way you want. I can have this sin producer over here, and I can just have a bazillion of these mixing chambers. Now, as you see, yes, I have five mixing chambers, and that is because let me show you this. Get these out of my inventory. With just one and one heating chamber, I'm only creating one bucket of the sin gas every tick. Now, for the best results. Go ahead and slap five of these guys on here with one heating chamber because it is this takes up i think it's 10 unit no it's 40 units of heat per tick and each one of these guys takes up uh, produces no yeah that takes up five and these produce 10 each so adding five of these guys on here for you 
and having one of these heat chambers allows us to produce five buckets of syngas per tick. You remove this guy here, one point, well yeah, one, one bucket because you only got one heating chamber per mixing chamber. Now, it's you can totally just go all out and add, like, I think you can have up to 25 of these guys and 10 heating chambers. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, 25 of these heating chambers, um, 10 of the heating chambers, 25 mixing chambers, yes. Um, you can have five intake valves uh, for your water. That's, that's, that's for if you upgrade these guys. Once you upgrade them, uh, they start sucking fuel like a 1950s 454 and uh yeah it's an issue you're gonna need another electric pump <laughs> now what this guy does is it creates the sink gas for you now like i said this is completely basic i have nothing oh there's already some steam pumping in here awesome cool so i already have it all set up for us now it does require carbon at first once you already get steam produced, which I already have it producing over here, you won't have to worry about carbon. The best item I've noticed to use is block of coal, um, just because of the carbon value. It lasts a lot longer, and it's not as consuming. Uh, in my own build, I <laughs> put some logs in there. I took about a stack of logs, and they were gone about a second. So a block of coal is your best bet to go when it comes to slapping in here for the sin gas now this intake valve you have to hook it up to a water source it has to be pumped it cannot be be from a portable tank it has to be pumped from a actual water source i learned that mistake very early on but i figured it out and we got it going now you can totally have this like i said set up anywhere uh in my single player build i have this all the way up here just so i can have it look nice and go around and not look ugly like this monstrosity we have going on here now what you're gonna pump this into is gonna be your best friend right over here now the reason i like advanced generator so much is the amount of redstone flux we get per tick that it's amazing now this doesn't take up a lot of like a sink gas is only 100 buckets or, well, not 100, you know, 1,000 microbuckets or whatever you want to call that. Now, you can add fuel canisters on these. Um, I'm not going to put them in the video. I'll do an advanced video of it. But you go ahead and you can take these fuel tanks. And they hold up to, I think it's another, uh, like, 1,600 uh, microbuckets. So it's not huge, but they're, they're cheap. It, it doesn't cost much to make them. Um, like I said, there's a bunch of upgrades and all this. I will do that in another video. This is just for basics to get anyone started on how to actually configure and get these guys working. Now, you are going to need a turbine. Unlike the sin gas producer over here, you don't require a turbine. You just need the heating chamber, the heating chambers and the mixing chambers, um, along with input-output. And this is if uh, you're, you're not like me and you're going to be around it often or it's in your base. This is item input. You can totally just have a chest with a bunch of block coal and it goes right in there for you. You don't have to worry about a thing. Uh, for the tutorial, I wouldn't have to worry about that right now. Um, so this produces you 100,000 redstone flux per tick. And this is only with one iron turbine. Now, it is only 100 RF per tick if you're actually storing anything so let's get a creative if i can actually type here there we go let's get an empty one oh i probably should actually turn on cheat mode again get one of these guys out here for us and get an elite cable or creative cable i think it's the ultimate i can't type oh my god all right, so these do produce quite a bit. Now, this is your flux generator. This is if you're going to be using your redstone flux. If you're using IC2's energy, you go ahead and use these voltage emitters. Now, I put the different kinds of tiers in here for us. So, like, you have... I already got the low emitter on there. That's your medium. Where's medium? Yeah. So, it's 128, and then it goes to 512 to... Yeah, 2048 to 8192 
Um, that's the low voltage, so 32 EU. The redstone flux one only produces 100 per tick, but when you're at this early base game, let's see. Here, oh, what I do here? Empty. Hmm. I don't think I'm producing enough power just yet for that ultimate guy. Here, let's slap this turbine on here. Let's show you how fun it gets. Like I said, multi-block, so I can literally just place these any way I want, and it doesn't matter. It'll just produce power for me. Now, 1k off for k for a second. Let's see what's going on here. Um, oh, it seems to be a syngas issue here. So, let me show you this then. Might as well go in depth. We got our heating chambers. We'll put two here, so we're not going to have a monstrosity of mixing chambers. Here. Yep. Need at least eight more. Obviously, that you don't have to stack them like that and have them look absolutely ugly. Oh, get rid of that guy. Uh, oh, I know what the problem is. I'm losing too much carbon. All right, this is what we do. We get some coal. Like I said, this is a... <laughs> It will literally consume every bit of coal you have. It's going to be awful. But now that we actually have some sin gas getting in there this time, let's go ahead and take a look at what our energy is doing here. Absolutely nothing still. Generating buckets per tick. Huh. Interesting. Let's see what there's energy going through. Oh, I'm retarded. It's because this is a creative. Hey, we're not going to talk about that. If anyone notices that in the video, just, just, just ignore me. We're not going to talk about it. There we go. So, with, <laughs> with that behind us, um, <laughs> as you'll notice, it does consume a lot of lava. That's why I have this lava bucket on me. Um, but I imagine... Um, this, this is for the steam producer anyway. It does go through a lot of lava. Um, it, obviously, if you're going to be playing modded with the boys, uh, you're not going to have to worry about that. You'll probably just get some lava from the nether using uh, like transport pipes and all that. Now, this is the heat exchanger. What the heat exchanger does for us is turns lava and water or any other source. I think it's IC2's coolant you can use as well into... Our boy steam here now what you can do with the steam is it's another generator it can produce up to a hundred thousand RF per tick if you really want it to you just gotta get these iron turbines going for you and it will produce 500 RF per tick 600 RF per tick 700 RF per tick now the same thing happens here with our syngas produce not our syngas our this guy our gas turbine each turbine we add, another 100 RF per tick. Now the steam one, I think it only does 80 RF per tick. Oh no, they up, up, updated it now. Okay, there used to be only 80 RF per tick with the steam. Now it's 100, which is A-OK -okay with us. Now with the heat exchanger, basic components you're gonna need with it is just two intakes, one for lava, one for water. You're gonna need the controller, a heat exchanger, I suggest, I only have one here, but for maximum efficiency for steam, I go three. That would be the best bet for you. And a fluid output. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fluid output right into this fluid intake guy here. Into our steam controller. Now you can totally just use this as a power source. But with the syngas, it just becomes extremely, extremely renewable. Um, beside with carbon, but... Once you get steam going, you can go ahead and take, let's see, let's get it output. Boom. Where'd my piping go? That's a universal, or mechanical. You can take your steam. Okay, I'm doing this wrong here. Yes, I am. Okay. Load output. Yeah. Alright, we'll just do that over an advanced video, because 
I'm not sure 100% how the steam works into this because last time in my survival, uh, I had steam going in here and it it's supposed to make it to where you don't have to worry about carbon. The steam will heat up automatically with the water and it will produce the sin gas by itself. But there was a slight bug last time I was trying to make it and this is the same error I'm having in this creative where it doesn't want to output from steam huh all right well that is the end of this tutorial guys um if you guys want a more in-depth version of the advanced go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and i will go ahead and leave another video for you guys thank you very much party size mike out